butterfly chicken by Cannes Poultry and Meats. It's a spice rub chicken. And to go with that, I'm doing quinoa sauteed with some vegetables and olives and golden raisins. If you are interested in this, stay tuned. We're not gonna mess with the seasoning too much because they kind of did a good job. I'm just gonna tuck in the wings and add a little bit of oil to it and get it into the oven. And I am going to do a glaze and put it on midway through. But remember, this is spatch cooked. So you're basically gonna cook, it's, it's basically gonna cook in half the time. Oh, that was hot. Oh, feel out my face. For sure, that man. Smell real good. Like long time lime juice. Two tablespoons of some kind of citrus. Apparently, we have a lemon. Oops. Two tablespoons of ketchup or barbecue sauce. And a tablespoon of the good stuff. I'm gonna get a shot in this one. <laughs> Don't even get me suck in my fingers either. That is good though. A teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of pepper sauce, and a teaspoon of green seasoning. All right, let me do the frying up of the situation. Get the pot out for that. All right, olive oil, like a tablespoon or two or so. Flinging a little garlic in there, you'll know when it's ready. And my garlic get a light brown. And my garlic get light brown, you'll know that that pot ready for you. Okay, Alison Hines. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, right? I'm so funny. You see? Brown. Brown is good. And mm -hmm. this is um, red onions and bell peppers. But I mean you could use whatever you have. I just had that. This is on high heat, just let go for like a minute max. I just still want to keep the crunch on your vegetables, but I want to try and get a little bit of color on it. Just a little, little bit. A little caramelization. Mushrooms. It smells like pizza, I swear. I think I'm going to call this pizza quinoa. Brilliant. Because by the time I get them olives in here, that is it. Garlic. Remember garlic burns, put it in after the fact. We are not salting anything because we do not want it to spring water. We want to kind of just get everything sorted. Maybe a little brown. Nothing to talk about. A little salt. I try colored peppercorns. Golden raisins, you can use cranberries if you want, or regular raisins. And some olives. Now it smells like pizza, pizza. It's smelling real good though. Not me hitting it, it's slow mo. Just 
This is after 20 minutes and this meat is mostly browned. Looking fabulous, almost done cooking. Get all in the crevice here. Saucy, just like I like it. Hit it with a little salt. So we have Christmas. It's Christmas every day. I wish I could get gifts every day. Right. Back in for until I get to call it maybe 20 minutes again. Right. Back on the money here. For the Karens. So the quinoa, I rinsed it, soaked it and rinsed it, and then boiled it and it's basically cooked to plump perfection. So when it goes in there, it treats it like rice. So we basically fry this up like some rice. I taste it and see if you need salt, etc. But I think we're good here. Just let any moisture or oil or anything be absorbed by the quinoa and then we're done. Just like about a minute. You could also boil that quinoa like a day in advance if you're preparing this for a crowd. So I am very excited to taste this dish because I mean the aroma in this kitchen. Well boy, you know you're saying things when you get me to eat quinoa like this because normally. Okay guys, I do have a knife and folks are just gonna bite into the chicken. Very boss glaze. Spicy, tender. Wow, 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 wow. That's good stuff. Melanie, I could cook you. I'm sorry. <laughs>